Hi everyone, it's Olivia from The Basketeers. Uh, we're back at it this year, but we're doing things a little bit differently. Instead of building baskets filled with brand new household items, which we then donate to women's shelters to give to uh, women leaving the shelter, this year we're creating gift card bundles. So I'm going to walk you through some of the stuff that I put in mine and I'm going to explain why it is that I chose those specific cards. So here are the cards that I've chosen for my gift card bundle. And um, you might be wondering why I chose these specific ones. When it comes to the gift cards, here are the three scenarios I tried to keep in mind. The woman probably has nothing, she probably needs everything, and she may have kids. So my gift card bundle is valued at $260. Uh, each gift card is worth about $50. The McDonald's one is worth $60. That's the budget that I had. You can decide uh, what budget uh, you are able to allot to this. And I tried to find uh, ways for her to have access to a lot of different kinds of of stores so she could get a lot of different kinds of things and I was also thinking about ways that she could treat herself. So here we have a winner's card which I chose so that she could get herself um, some new clothing. A lot of the women who end up in uh, women's shelters are leaving uh, a very abusive situation at home <clears throat> which means that um, they may not have a lot of clothing with them so if she needs a new outfit for a job interview, hopefully she'll be able to get something cute at Winners. This is the uh, Jean Coutu card. You can't see it, but it is valued at $50. And with this card, I'm hoping that she can get herself some basic toiletries, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, some soap, some toilet paper, maybe some feminine hygiene products. So with this Canadian Tire card, I'm hoping that the woman can get herself some kitchenware, uh, like pots, pans, plates, utensils, glasses, stuff like that, and maybe even a couple of tools for the house. And here we have the Dollarama card. I went with the Dollarama card because um, there's also some kitchenware that she can get at a lower price here. So in case the stuff at Canadian Tire is too expensive, she can get some of it here. But also because um, Dollarama sells um, some non-perishable food items and they don't cost that much money. So when I was trying to think of how she could maybe buy herself some food that she needed, um, I thought this could be a good option because she could um, uh, outfit herself with a lot of canned or box goods that will last a long time and she could get a lot of them at the same time. And then finally we have the um, McCafe McDonald's cards. Um, there are four of them and each is valued at $15. This is really for her to be able to treat herself and um, you know I mean we know that McDonald's isn't super expensive so if she has children it'll be really easy for her to to take them there get them a meal that we know children love even if you know you can think whatever you want about the food at McDonald's but we know that kids love it um, and of course if she doesn't have kids then she can treat herself and she can treat herself several times instead of just the ones because it's not too expensive there Next I have a card that my father actually designed and what I did is I wrote uh, kind of a neutral message um, in it um, telling the woman that she deserves this um, and my cards are going to be stuffed inside the card and I'm going to put it in this envelope um, and that's going to be what I'm going to be handing off to the women's shelter. Now, of course, um, <clears throat> I'm handing it off directly, so I didn't bother to address it. But uh, you might want to write our postal address, which is going to be appearing on screen. And barring that, you could address the gift package exactly like this, and then stuff it in a bigger envelope where you can write the postal code address and send it to us um, on time for the big drop off. So this year we're giving uh, the gift card bundles to the Native Women's Shelter and the Shield of Athena. We hope to get to 25 gift card bundles this year. Of course, if we get more than that, then we'll be able to perhaps include a third shelter to the mix, which would make us so very happy. Um, the deadline for the gift bundles um, 
is December 12th, so please send them to the postal address that you've seen on screen uh, before or by December 12th. And thank you so much for your generosity this year and the previous years. Thank you.